Coming up, we take a look at the latest updates to Microsoft Visio, including how you can now view and author Visio diagrams from the browser within Office 365. Combine the power of Visio with Power BI to overlay business insights onto your Visio diagrams to explore data within a real context and automatically create diagrams from your data using our new data visualizer in Visio with Excel. Joined today by Mukul Kumar from the Visio team. Welcome. Thanks for having me on the show, Jeremy. So it's been a while since we've covered Visio and Microsoft Mechanics. It's really one of the most popular diagramming tools on the planet. And over the past couple of years, it's been evolving fast. That's right, Jeremy. Visio has a huge cross industry, cross discipline appeal because you can visualize almost anything with diagrams. With Visio, you can build any diagram from simple timelines to organization charts to network topologies and complex process models. And all of these are available for you to get started quickly. And we're seeing Visio being used for lots of different use cases across industries. And really, as a result, it's forcing your team to also stretch its imagination in terms of what we can make possible with Visio. Absolutely. And on the rich client side, we've added even more sophisticated charts, such as wireframes, making life easy for the web designers. In fact, there are two areas that I'm personally most excited about, and those are the fact that it's no longer really a niche expert business process manager tool. In fact, Anyone now can view and author diagrams. We can now also transform these diagrams into dynamic data link dashboards. That's right. We've been following a continuous innovation path as part of Office 365 and the cloud. And most of what I'll show you today is made possible by that approach. Here I'm in Visio Online, and as you can see, I can view my Visio diagrams now. And it's really cool because I don't actually need to add any add-ins or browser extensions. I'm viewing them directly here, in this case, in Office 365 from an Edge browser without having to install anything extra. It's all native, and in fact, we have made it much easier to view Visio files from apps within Office Online. For example, I'm in Office Outlook in the web, and as you can see, I have the Visio diagrams over here. In the past, if I clicked this, it would have asked me to download the file and then associate it with the right program to open it. Let's have a look what happens now. As you can see, it opens it right inside the browser. You don't have to go out and do anything. In fact, we have made it easier to view it inside Microsoft Teams as well. And very soon, you'll be able to edit it right within Microsoft Teams. So these are great new options for viewing, but what are we doing to help anyone create great Visio diagrams? With Visio Online, you can now create simple diagrams from the browser. And because it's in the web, there's nothing to install, and the application is always up to date. Here in the Visio Online editor, we give you a lot of things to get started very quickly. Up top, we have the recent files you are working on. If you scroll down, we give you a set of popular diagrams, which you can choose and get started quickly. You even have this magnifying button, which you press to see a preview. And if everything looks right, you can go ahead and create it. But let's go back up and search for a few diagrams. Here, I'm going to search for a process flow and see what it brings up. I scroll down and look at the search results. And I think this one looks good to me. And I'll go ahead and create it. So it brings up a familiar Visio UI, but as you can see, it's very clean and simple and beautiful. Adding shapes is very easy in the diagram. Simple drag and drop. You can connect the diagrams by just hovering over them. It's very easy to delete the elements as well. All you have to do is simply delete, and it takes care of connecting the diagrams automatically. Let's try and put a template on this to make it look good. And this looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and share it with you so that we can collaborate on this diagram. OK. All right, so back on my PC, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the recently shared with me files here. I should be able to see the uh, VSD file that you've just shared. There it is, drawing 15. And the great thing is I can open it straight from within the browser. I don't have to install anything. There it is. It looks just like it did uh, when, you, when you shared it with me. Here I see the theater booking process. And one of the great things with this is that because it's Visio Online, I can actually embed that into other experiences in Office 365. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the link here um, via the sharing dialog. I'll close that window down. And now I've got a SharePoint team site in this case that I'm working on called Contoso Org. And I'm going to edit that site. Because Contoso Org and, and SharePoint Online now has this really easy um, kind of uh, menu-based, web part-based editing process, I just have to open up the different web parts. And you can see all the things I can add to it. Right here in the middle is the file viewer. And now what that's going to do is ask me for a link to that file that I just copied over, that Visio chart. We'll go ahead and add that there. It says, make sure that you've got 
permissions for anybody who's going to view this site to view that Visio file, which we'll do later. We'll go ahead and open. And now again, because we're in Visio Online, that can render straight here within my team site. And within SharePoint, I can even zoom in a little bit if I want to maybe accentuate parts of that chart, just so you can see exactly what that chart looks like. Maybe it's my organizational chart or the reporting structure of the team. All of that here right from within the Visio web part inside of my SharePoint team site. So we just saw some great integration here within SharePoint. It's a lot simpler as a user interface, and I can connect the shapes, and even as I take things away, it keeps those connections in place. And speaking of making these more accessible for people and shareable across the organization, are there other ways we can integrate Visio within other Office 365 experiences? Yes, we absolutely can. And to show you how powerful this integration feature is, let me just show you a traditional Power BI dashboard. Here we have an IoT facilities dashboard used by this organization across multiple locations. And this is rich data, uh, full of bar charts, but it doesn't tell you much. It doesn't give you a real world context why these two temperatures are so high for these rooms. So let me show you what happens if I add a Visio diagram to this. So just by adding this Visio diagram, now you have a real world view of what's going on. It seems like something's going on in the northeast corner of this office space where all the rooms are a bit warmer. So I can very clearly see that you know, there are appliances over here which are probably making the room run a bit hotter. So now just by adding a Visio diagram, the Power BI dashboard becomes immensely useful. Right, and because it's Power BI, it's really easy to share the dashboard with members of your team. You can interact with it, you can, you can embed it into a SharePoint site or Microsoft Teams. People can use it across their devices. And also because it's Power BI, you can connect really with any data source and get extremely rich data connectivity. How do I get all this working? Let me show you how. So here we are in our Power BI dashboard where I've rearranged the charts to make space for the Visio visuals. The first step is to edit the report and then bring in the custom Visio visual from the Power BI marketplace. So I'm going to search for Visio and then simply add the visual. Now the second step is to click that so that we get the placeholder for Visio. And I'm going to map the data fields and then connect the visual with the Visio diagram. Just uh, pasting the link over here. And I'm say connect. And it's going to bring the facilities blueprint of that office space. So it does the field mapping automatically. But here we see that we have a few missing. So I'm going to start with mapping them why don't you go ahead and uh, go into its own separate tile then, just to show it a little bit larger. Yes, we can do that. That's a good idea. Now, the next step is to make sure that it's showing that color indicator for all the rooms. So I'm going to start with deviation. I'm going to change the ranges. So I want 0 to 1 to be shown as, let's say, blue. So these rooms are cooler. And then the slightly warmer ones, I'll do 1 to 2. And I'll assign, let's say, yellow. And then I'll do the hotter ones for two to four, and I'll make them red. So this is how you get to that nice visual, which is telling you that, hey, these rooms are cooler and these rooms are hotter. Now, if you go back to the dashboard, you can see how it's hooked up to the rest of the data in your Power BI dashboard. That's right. Very cool. So switching gears, though, on the other hand, you can also build Visio diagrams directly uh, by using data in Excel, right? That's right. For Visio on the desktop, one of the most powerful capabilities that we've added is a feature called Data Visualizer. And that allows you to automatically create diagrams from the data you already have. And it's all dynamically synced. And here we are on our Visio desktop app. And we start with choosing a template. So I'm going to start with creating a diagram using one of the pre-existing templates we give you for Data Visualizer. Okay. Those templates are indicated by this tiny little Excel icon. So I'm going to start by clicking that. And then this wizard will run me through a few steps where I can choose my Excel data source. So I'm going to say Browse. And I'm going to go to my Process Data. And right now, it's grabbing those tables. So it grabbed the Process Map Data. And I'm going to say Next. Make sure everything looks good. And then finish the diagram. And then it's going to be creating that diagram right from that Excel data. So what you see here is automatically generated from your Excel data source. And if you're wondering where to get those template files, you can actually download those as part of the create new templates that are, that are here. And you, here you can see the downloaded template or download the Excel template. And if you click on that, you'll see exactly what that Excel file looks like. So you can start creating these for yourself today. 
So really a fantastic overview, all the updates in Visio, Visio Online, and also the integration that we saw with Power BI and Excel. But what else has the team been working on? So one of the things we are really excited about is integrating Visio with mixed reality scenarios. And one of the things as a gadget guy I was really excited to see in the September timeframe was this uh, integration and this partnership with Finger Food Studios and the work they're doing and to actually integrate mixed reality in Windows with Visio. So here, we're actually looking at a factory floor effectively in the IoT sensor data, and they're, they're coupling that together with Visio live data, so you can actually do things like troubleshooting, maybe valves, or in this case, pipe sensors as they make alerts, and you can see what's going on there using the power of MR plus Visio. Yes, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, and of course, we are always exploring additional use cases, so please keep giving us your feedback. Okay, so how can people then get started with what you've shown us today? So if you're on Office 365, you can start viewing Visio files today. To get started on using Visio, you can access our trial at the link shown. And of course, to see all the latest tech in action, subscribe to our channel for Microsoft Mechanics, and you'll see the latest shows across Microsoft. That's all the time we have for this show. Thanks for watching.